Good morning, students. This is Ramesh Ante from the School of Commerce, Kolkata. And today we will be discussing the story, the Lighthouse Keeper of Aspin Ball. The story is prescribed for BCom second semester in the subject Supplementary English, Bharatiya Nagpur University, Nagpur. And this story, the Lighthouse Keeper of Aspin Ball, is written by Hendrik Sainz Kibis. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> this particular story, the lighthouse keeper of Esmin Wall, is about what? Is about one particular skill. That is interview skills. Uh, after graduating or post graduating or uh, after acquiring higher education, <clears throat> definitely you will be applying in different organizations for the jobs, right? And there <clears throat> you will be selected based on your knowledge and you will prove your knowledge, you will prove your intellect, you will prove your talent, you will prove your competency through interview. Definitely you have to face the interview. So that in our life, in general, okay, interview is too much important. If you want to get placed in some other organization, or be it educational field or any other field, right? So you have to face what? Interview. So <clears throat> first of all, we will be discussing about this particular story and then I will uh, throw some light, okay, on the very important issue, on the very important theme, on the very important point that is interview skills. Why interviews are important? How should we get prepared? What we should know while going for the interview, etc. Because it is too much important if you are an applicant and you are applying for a particular post in an organization, then definitely you must know about all these things, okay? You must be well equipped with this kind of knowledge or information okay you should not go there with blank mind right so <clears throat> this is to the lighthouse keeper of Aspin Ward here in this study we will find two or three other keywords very important words so far as this particular story is concerned first lighthouse all of you know the lighthouse lighthouse is there uh, which is very important because uh, the signals are given okay to the ships or the vessels so that they can move towards the right direction okay so it is the kind of indicator okay and <clears throat> keeper means what a person who is appointed there okay to show the flags to the vessels okay so that those are um, vessels or the big ships or the small boats which are in the ocean or in the sea right should go into the right direction they should not be misguided because of the uh, storm or bad weather etc okay and they should reach the uh, destination properly and third is asking wall actually this is uh, the name of a particular place okay where this lighthouse is situated or located right so this is the name of the place and this place is near Panama, right, in the US. Before going to discuss uh, in depth this particular story, which is about what? Which skill, interview skill, I'd like to tell you about this author. Henry Sims Gibbs, right. So this person's full name is Henry Adam Alexander Pius Sinkwe Gibbs. Right, he was born on uh, May 5 in the year 1846 and died on November 15 in the year 1916. Right, uh, he is well known uh, by his pseudonym also, and the pseudonym of this author is Lit Was, L I T W A S. He was a Polish journalist, okay, a uh, novelist, and uh, he was awarded the most prestigious award, okay, that is Nobel Prize. Okay, in literature, uh, which he received in the year in 1905. He is best remembered for his uh, internationally known best seller, that is Q -B -A -D -S, Q U O B A D I S, which was published in the year 1896. And basically, he is well known for his historical novels. He has written some historical novels. So many novels and short stories have been published by this great author of Poland, Alexander Saint Louis. Right now, 
as a general though i will be doing the same today in this lecture also because until and unless you know the major and minor characters which are there in the novel or any piece of literature okay uh, we cannot uh, understand it thoroughly right the relationship uh, among those people should be clear to the readers and that's why you being the reader i being the reader uh, it is our responsibility to get to know about the characters which are there right so i'll be telling you about the major characters basically there are two characters which are of uh, you know great importance so far as the story is concerned because uh, the entire story revolves around these two characters and in these two characters also one is major character major character means i have already explained you these terms in the previous lecture the character which has to play a big role a large role uh, in the novel or that particular piece of literature here especially the story so here we'll be <coughs> knowing about these two important characters first is skarinski okay this is the major character now in short i tell you this is the person who is shown as a applicant but much more information is given about this great character i am using this word great okay big character major character the important character in the story it has its own significance right because it plays a vital role a key role in the development of this particular story and second is mr isaac falcon bridge who is the officer who is the consul in the united states okay and who has been uh, uh, assigned the responsibility of uh, selecting a lighthouse keeper of aspen wall right so before actually we uh, go into depth of the story i'd like to throw some light on this particular character that is scavens okay uh the information is given here about his uh, physique okay his uh, physical features are uh, shown as a man of uh, 70 or more than 70 years okay uh, his hair perfectly white totally white he's a man of 70 years it means uh, he's just old person okay he's not a middle aged man he's not any very young person a young man right um he's 70 years old uh, he's black hair has turned into white <clears throat> he has blue eyes because he's american many of the british or the american people have blue eyes okay as we the indians have black eyes right and uh, <clears throat> somewhat he looks sad and downcast but he is very honest okay these are the features physical features of the physic okay some characteristics of the personality of <clears throat> Skarinski. Now, in the beginning, I told you that <clears throat> he is shown as an applicant. It means he has applied for what for this particular post, lighthouse keeper. Some questions uh, must have arisen in your mind that if it is related to the White House, then uh, there should be the young man, okay, who would be able to show the flags. uh to the vessels to the ships okay so that proper direction can be given to those vessels or the you know captains of the vessels or the people who are at helm on those ships or vessels but you will come to know about his <coughs> other characteristics also as we go ahead in this story right so <coughs> before coming this particular man stamenski before coming to this place has been wall before uh, uh, applying for the post of lighthouse keeper this man stamenski was working somewhere okay he had done a great job in his life he was a, a brave man okay He was a soldier. He was a tradesman. He was a businessman. He he was a servant also. Okay, he was a hard worker man. He had seen the jungles of Amazon. It means his life was you know rich with uh, a lot of experiences of life, right? 
had wandered a lot like the Greek people, right? And after all, at the age of 70, when he visited nearly so many um, places, he came to this place, Espinwall, and uh, applied there for the post of lighthouse keeper. Further developments in the story would be discussed in the next lecture. We will see uh, other characteristics, other features of this Stevens in the next lecture or in the next video. We stop.